Lucy. And today I thought it would be a nice idea for me to share one of my favourite felt board stories, The Very Hungry Caterpillar. So who's ready to begin? I'm sure most of you know this story, so maybe you can say it at home when I'm about to put some of the items on our board. So get comfortable and let's get ready for the story. You ready? In the light of the moon, here's the moon, a little egg lay on a leaf. Can you see the little egg? Yep, there it is. One Sunday morning, the warm sun stayed down the moon. And whoop, the warm sun came up and pop out of the egg came a, do you know? Let's have a look. A tiny little caterpillar. There it is, with a bright red head. Tiny, very hungry caterpillar. He started to look for some food. He's only very little. On, oh, on Monday, there he is looking for some fruit. On Monday, he ate through, do you know? <gasps> One red juicy apple. Mm. <laughs> he was still hungry. <gasps> so on Tuesday, he ate through two green pears. There they are. One, two. Mm, 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 mm. Mm, delicious. Do you think with all this eating that our caterpillar is getting bigger? Yeah, I think so. So on Wednesday, hmm. Very colourful, very healthy caterpillar. He had three juicy plums. Mm, yum, yum. Do you like plums? I like plums. Yum, yum, yum. On, what are we up to? Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. On Thursday, he ate through mm, one of my favourite, favourite fruits. I was about to tell you what it was. Strawberries. He ate through four strawberries. One, two, three, and four. There you go, Mr. Caterpillar. Mm, yum, 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 yum. Mm, so delicious. Oh, but he was still hungry. So on Friday, he ate through. Mmm, they're very juicy, beautiful on a hot summer's day. Some, he ate through five oranges. One, two, three, four, five. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Surely he's going to be full now. What do you think? No, he was still hungry. Oh my goodness, this very hungry little caterpillar. So on Saturday, he ate through. Oh, he had lots to eat on a Saturday. Are we ready? Let me see. One piece of chocolate cake, one ice cream cone, one pickle. One slice of Swiss cheese. Mmm, I love cheese. One salami. Oh, my salami doesn't want to stay on the board. <gasps> One lollipop. Let's get the caterpillar eating. Mm, wow, he's eating lots and lots of food for a Saturday. Oh, my. And lots and lots of treats. So he had one lollipop and one piece of cherry pie, 
One sausage. Oh, I'm running out of room. One cupcake and one slice of watermelon. Mm. Look at him eating all that food on a Saturday. What do you think happened to the caterpillar now? Yeah, that night he had a sore tummy. He had a stomach ache because he had lots and lots of things to eat. But the next day, when the caterpillar woke up, it was Sunday again. And the caterpillar ate, what do you think he ate? Yeah, he ate one nice green leaf. Mm, now that's what caterpillars should be eating. I've never seen a caterpillar eat a chocolate cake. Mm, much better for the caterpillar. So we had one green leaf. Now, he wasn't hungry anymore because he had lots and lots of food. And he wasn't, he wasn't little anymore either. He was a big caterpillar. Whoa, look how big he got. <gasps> he's very, very big. So now that he's nice and big, he built a small house called a cocoon. There he is. There's a cocoon. We'll take him away. He built a small house called a cocoon. And he stayed inside the house for more than two weeks. Then he nibbled, nibbled, nibbled a hole in the cocoon to push his way out. And when he came out, do you know what he was? Yeah, he was a beautiful, colorful, shining bright butterfly. And that's how a caterpillar turns into a butterfly. And like I said, I've never seen a caterpillar eat all those treats, but in our story of the very hungry caterpillar, they def he definitely enjoys eating lots and lots of treats. I hope you enjoyed um, the felt board story of the very hungry caterpillar. Now, stories can be shared in many, many ways. Like I mentioned before, it can be through felt board stories, through puppets, through books, and even through drawings. You could draw some pictures with your children and they could tell you a story. And that's all encouraging the love of literacy and books and things like that.